Hello, beautiful, sweet soul. So, I want to clear up something in this video, which many people talk about and share and message all over the internet and in the world. But it's not a common thing, and it's absolutely not on the news. But what I want to share in this video, dear sweet souls, is that if you hate anyone, can you love someone who hates you or who you have a disagreement with or a different point of view? So that's what inspired me to make this video. And I just wanted to say that we, what, who people are is nothing to do with us. Like how they behave is nothing to do with whether or not we can love them. It's totally different and independent. So what we learn in society is like you love people who are your family or you love people who are kind to you and there's nothing special about being kind to others. Being kind is a symptom of being connected to the unconditional loving being that we are. So for me it doesn't matter if anyone, if whoever has hurt you in the past or whoever, whoever irritates and upsets you, they are just messengers to help guide you back to the loving being that you are through teaching you lessons and triggering you so that you can align with who you truly are. So it does not matter, like, uh, we are unconditional loving beings, so it's the only difference is people can either make it harder for you to be unconditionally loving, to connect with who you truly are, or they can make it easier. So the people who are kind and sweet to us is obviously it's much easier to love them. But for people who are like less sweet or even challenging, they truly ultimately do not have the power to stop you from loving them and feeling big love in your heart towards them, you know? So it's that's what we've been conditioned to think and believe that we need events in life and people to be sweet and in our favor in order to feel good or to feel love and that's absolutely 100% not true it's just they either make it easier for us to be happy or it makes it easier for us to be loving so when events go smoothly and perfect it's easier for us to be happy and when people are sweet to us and favorable it's easier to be loving but it's it's not essential when we become more masterful that's when even if events aren't so favorable and perfect we can still be happy and joyful and when people aren't so sweet and loving to us or even if they hate us for example when we become more masterful that's when we can keep tuning into happiness peace and joy and love that we all are ultimately so it's just a matter of practice and experience so um yeah, that's pretty much as simple as it is. That's that's the message right there, everybody. That's that's the truth of it. So, what else can I say? I hope that's cleared things up. Um, it's all about our attitude, our programming, our perceptions, our belief systems, our way of seeing things. Um, attitude and mood is everything. Perceptions. It's all yeah. That's it. Simple as that. Like so. Um, it's all about our preconceived programming and preconceived ideas and notions and assumptions and how we view people and what we think. It's, I don't know what else to say. Like, can I explain it better? Can anyone like challenge me or point me in a way of explaining it better? So, like, like, so, and like, let's talk more. Let's discuss this a bit further. Let's say regret, any emotion, regret, um, anger. Resentment, bitterness, sadness, um, disgruntlement, dissatis dissatisfaction, um, um, non forgiveness, all of these things, we own it. It's not someone else doing it to us. It's not what's happened in the past or the present doing it to us. We aren't a victim emotionally. It's all in our power. Like, you can be joy, you can be. It's true, like you can be you can connect it to joy, love and peace pretty much anywhere almost, you know. Um, 
So Angela says, so true, so nice when we finally know they are messengers. People are just here to trigger us. Yes, that's true, and to help us to grow and heal. Yes, we are the, so we are the source of our own love. Yes, that's it. So um, we, we can let go of non-forgiveness and baggage that we are holding on to ourselves. We are holding it. So we can let go of what happened in the past and let go of telling ourselves the negative victim story of our perceptual identity of who we think or believe we are. So when we let go of this idea of like we are the person who got, you know, yeah, bullied or abused uh, like physically, emotionally or sexually or whatever the case may be, when we let go of this idea of what happened to us and who we are as a result, we, we go forward, we bubble to the surface of the sea like a ball and uh, we can live a really good life, you know. That's all, that's it, I suppose, so, um, yeah, nice message, eh? simple. I hope this helps, and I hope, hope you get to live a really happy, joyful life, and uh, I promise you that as you learn this and tune into who you truly are, um, in a pure and enlight enlightened light, like a light state of being, feeling light and bouncy and happy and bubbly, feeling light on your feet, light in your heart and light in your mind without all this baggage and heaviness. You're just going to have the best life ever, like way better than ever before. It's just going to keep improving and uh, that's what's happened for me. And um, you'll be able to co-create and manifest all sorts of beautiful things and your dreams come true. So, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So, anyway, have a lovely day and um, for anyone who wants personal like one-to-one -one consultations on healing and all this sort of spirituality and personal growth I do I do that and health consultations and relationship help too so I also have some books in the works and I've written some books also so uh, and I also have a herb store called higherselfherbs.com which can help support our physical and mental and emotional well-being too so everyone who's got a call I'll let you go um, lots of love and light and uh, stay well and happy and healthy and um, Keep expanding, learning and growing and having fun. Have lots of fun as much as possible. Fun is really good. Okay, bye. Take care. Lots of love. I like this. This has been a good video. I've enjoyed it. Thanks.